Okay, I'll show you a good example. Alright, see that? Where it's all pitted across there? That's got nah, it's got two heavy, heavy, heavy coats of uh, DP epoxy, DP50 with no reducer. Now sand it like this. see it's starting to flat out but it's got a lot of pits still in it. It'll burn through the tops and some of the high spots but I'll level out most like 90% most of the low spots. And I'll come back with a scuff pad and then I'll shoot another another coat of uh, epoxy on it and do this process again with a lighter grit sandpaper and hopefully everything will be ready for paint after that so this is the heavy standing phase right here the other finish skirt's beautiful but this one for some reason got some water in it. it's still got some pits on it but it's not like this one. keep sanding until it's level and start having bare metal show through like that and then I'll scuff it and spray it one more time and then it'll be flat and level and beautiful so this is the stainless trim ring that goes around the grill opening on the 37 Imperial and it is a basically unobtainable piece of stainless and it's not in terrible shape but it's bent bent here it's bent here and here on both sides and it's got a it's got a flex here and a flex right there and a few other little dings and dents but it can it can definitely be brought back the problem is all of these clips on the back are like halfway broken and brittle and I got this one to, to move because I cleaned up the area around it so I'm going around and getting all the crap out of the back of it so I can start straightening it. Straightening it. It had overspray and tape lines with white paint, and this did not come with the car. The, what was on the car was like off the shelf Pet Boys chrome trim, sticky tape trim, and this is the real deal. But it's been on a car that got painted a bunch of times. So I'm trying to free up all the clips and clean all the gunk out of the back and get working on straightening this kind of stuff out. We're real professional around here. Glad I got that on tape. him right in the butt. Alright, well, this is a facial trim to the front grill piece that we were working on before and uh, got a trim piece. Um, we've tried to find a better one before we go to making it. We're gonna work out the dents, but Right now we're sliding these all all the way down and taking them out. And uh, some of them are quite rough, you know. This is oh. from another car. This isn't from a, a beige car. No, I know. Well, they might not, but these little trim clips have to come out. These are some of the really dented up factors that we have to deal with if you notice this area is pretty damaged. So. We'll have to fix a lot of dents, a lot of different kinks, and get things all polished and straightened back out. So, all right. You ought to be on something. Some of them slide and go pretty good ways, and other ones don't move at all. Um, I 
don't know how this is going to come through there. It comes up in that corner and gets up. Like I said, some of them move, some of them don't. They go. We're hitting right on that. Gotta come up in that welded area that's together. Now I'm down to all the little tiny dents. I've gotten the big majority out, shape. I got the, the bow into it, and the same with this side. Um, one was really bad, so this side was really bad. I've worked a lot of it. I got the roundness. If you close your eyes and just feel it, the shape's right. I got a lot of little tiny dings to work out, and now I'll shadow cast it and sand it, and then I'll do the same over here. I just put that little thing there, but the feeling of it's real good now. So now I go the opposite way and you got this, you got this, you got this shape, you work this in the groove. So there's a lot of different pieces and I got a lot of animals and different pieces to work. That's where this was. tiny piece and getting all these tiny little bumps right here out I don't know can you see that good it blurs up or it's my eyes you're just old yeah I hear you you're getting there women age quicker than men so if you're in your 40s you're 50 I ain't in my 40s oh I thought you were no oh, ha ha <laughs> remember you're only a year younger than my mom hey man uh, your mom probably gonna watch these videos too. I know it looks like I'm doing the same exact thing I was doing earlier. It's basically I am. I'm doing the same exact thing I was doing earlier. And I'm going over the same exact areas and going through. I've been working this bottom half. Um, Basically, you can see it. It's uh, came all the way across. Everything's been sanded here, and there's where previous damage was. Is all through this area here, and all through this area here. Um, yes, we had small dents here, small dents here, small little things up here. Major was here and here where it had been bent inward. Um, Ninety percent of everything's been corrected. Um, going through the sanding process, and then I'll go to buffing it. See you later. Oh, I'm continuing on where I left off yesterday evening. I am down to hand sanding at 600 and I'm getting ready to go at 8 and 1,000 and, and then uh, I'm going to go to Buffer. But as you see, it looks sweet as can be. Ah, just a, a delicate process. And you can tell I just started out, my hands are just getting dirty. <laughs> It'll be a day event again.